Priming the detergent pump. Warning, it is important before starting this or any other procedure that you or anyone who operates, works with, maintains, services, or repairs the butler system and or vehicle be familiar with its operation and thoroughly read, understand, and follow in their entirety all of the warnings, cautions, and notices described in your butler system and vehicle owner's manual and in the following operational video. Your safety and the safety of others depends on it. This video is for general demonstration purposes only. Please contact the Butler Corporation at 1-800-535-5025 if you require further assistance. Before we get started, we're going to place the vehicle in park, allow the vehicle to warm up to operating temperature, turn off the AC and defrost, and make sure we either have water in the fresh water tank or connect the machine directly to a garden hose and open the cold water inlet valve. Hello and welcome to another Butler Corporation operational video. My name is Jim Griffin, I work here in the service department, and today we're going to be going through how to prime the Butler System detergent injection pump. To do this, all you need is an empty solution container, like this, and a container of truck mount detergent. We recommend our Butler Maximum truck mount detergent line. These chemicals are formulated to work with the Butler System, and they're available from our supply division. So before we demonstrate this on a live ring machine, we wanted to step over to our cutaway unit where it's a little bit easier to see. We're going to be priming our detergent injection pump, which is located right here. This is going to pull detergent from our detergent container. And when we prime it, it's going to draw the air out of our detergent line, our flow meter, and the braided hose that goes between the flow meter and the detergent injection pump. When we do this, we're going to use our red priming valve, which is located here. When we open this up, it's going to use the suction from the cap pump to draw detergent from this container. Once it's primed and all the air is out of the lines, the detergent system will maintain suction. This is going to have to be done anytime you change out this container, anytime the detergent line is removed from the jug. And it is important when we use our high pressure pump to keep this system primed as running it dry could cause damage to the machine. Our first step is going to be to make sure there is detergent in the detergent container. Inspect the strainer to make sure it is clean and properly attached to the hose. And then I'm going to insert the hose into the jug so that the strainer is fully submerged. I'm then going to place the key switch in the on position and start the machine by activating the engage system switch. Ensure that the detergent on off valve with the yellow handle is in the on position. Next, start the high pressure pump by activating the engage pump switch. Turn the speed control up to Mach 2. Then once it revs up, Turn it back down to Mach 1. This should set the RPMs to about 1500 on the tachometer. Place your empty solution container on the ground and put the end of your hot water convenience hose into the container. Now open up the hot water convenience valve and open your detergent flow control valve by turning it several turns counterclockwise. Now we can go ahead and open the red-handled detergent pump bleeder valve. When reaching over here, be careful not to get too close to the moving belts. Detergent should begin to flow and you will see the air bubbles being pulled through the meter. If detergent does not begin to flow, partially close the fresh water tank ball valve or cold water inlet valve number 1050 or number 1020 until the detergent begins to flow. Then open the valve back up. Once all of the air is pulled out of the chemical line and flow meter, go ahead and close the red handled detergent pump bleeder valve. Now close the hot water convenience valve and adjust your detergent flow rate in accordance with the instructions listed in your owner's manual. The detergent injection system is now primed and ready to use. 
go ahead and turn down the speed control. Once the RPMs drop to a thousand, Disengage the pump, turn off the machine by deactivating the engage system switch, and turn the key switch to the off position. Make sure to dispose of the water discharged into your solution container in accordance with your local laws and regulations. This video is for general demonstration purposes only. Please contact the Butler Corporation at 1-800-535 5025 to order replacement parts or if you require further assistance.